Uh, currently, I'm a copywriter intern with uh, Digitas Chicago. Um, I applied back in January uh, through their website. Um, so I just filled out an application. Um, I answered some questions. I sent out, you know, the basics like cover letter, resume, uh, a link to my portfolio, and um, and then I got a call back in April, early April, for an interview. Uh, I did the interview, and then by the end of April, I had heard back that I got the position, and I accepted it and started uh, this June. Uh, before to this one, I spent pretty much all of last year interning with uh, Euro RSCG as a copywriter intern. Um, so I was there for like eight months. And before that, last summer, I was a copy intern with uh, the San Jose Group, which is a small Hispanic uh, ad agency. Um, my first internship with the San Jose Group was really exciting because that was my first exposure to the real you know, world um, and that was my first ad agency so I got to see really how you know, an agency functions and the different departments and how they interact with one another uh, and then jumping from there to I got hired by Euro RCG as an intern and that was a really cool experience just because they're a, a bigger agency with a, some big name clients. So it was interesting going from like that spectrum from a small agency to working at a bigger agency and seeing how they're different. Um, my first internship with the San Jose Group, I just was applying to every agency that I knew of in the city. Um, and I just got lucky and, and got a, a position with them. Uh, with Euro RSCG, I actually follow the Twitter feed from Columbia um, that the marketing department has where they post like different opportunities and I saw that they had an opportunity with Euro RCG uh, for a copy internship so like right away I called Dave Gordon and um, asked him about that position he gave me uh, the recruiter's email and uh, I emailed her set up an interview and got the job I would definitely suggest getting on LinkedIn and also Twitter. Uh, a lot of recruiters, pretty much all the recruiters are, are on those sites and they're really great tools to um, to find internships and different opportunities and to, to get yourself out there. So I would just suggest getting on those sites and just finding different recruiters from different agencies that you're interested in and uh, reaching out to them. The application was, uh, for the most part, it was pretty general. Just you know, anything you would you would typically expect to be on an application. Um, although they did have some questions that kind of got more at you know your personality. Like I remember for Digitas, one of the things that they asked me to do was um, uh, to pick an iPhone app that would best describe my personality and uh, explain why. And instead of picking an app that already existed, I decided to create my own app. So I you know, went in Photoshop and I designed my own app and you know, talked about the functionality and then talked about why uh, it would relate to my personality. And that was something that, that they told me in the interview that they thought was really cool. Um, so, and I mean, the interview itself was, was pretty uh, lax. I'd say, you know, it's for, uh, it was an internship in the creative department. So. I had two copywriters interview me and it was very just conversational. They just asked me to, you know, talk about myself and some of my experiences and then, you know, they looked through my work and I explained, you know, the thinking behind uh, the campaigns that I have in my portfolio. And um, it was, it was really, uh, it was really fun. It was, it wasn't like a very uptight interview. Um, so, I'm a copywriter intern, so I obviously work in the creative department. Um, I've only been there a few weeks now, but I've gotten to write a bunch of uh, video scripts for uh, a series of branded content videos that they're doing um, for one of their clients. Um, I write a lot of copy for the web. Uh, they're, they specialize in digital, so most of the stuff that I work on is you know in the online space. 
So I do a lot of things uh, for different uh, clients' websites, tweaking copy, um, updating different sections. Uh, I do a lot on Facebook as well, um, working on campaigns that live just within Facebook. Um, so yeah, pretty much anything that, that has to do with writing uh, is what I deal with. And I also, you know, from time to time, we'll conceptualize together. We'll work with, like, you know, different art directors and different writers, and we'll have creative directors, and we'll all sit in a room and try to brainstorm different ideas to uh, help our clients' business problems. Right now, I, the most interesting thing, I think, is, uh, you know, as an intern, you know, occasionally you're going to have some downtime, and um, I think it's it's really up to you to decide like what you want to do with your internship. So, I right now I work with 20 other interns, and I mean they're in different departments. Um, so, you know, we all have downtime from time to time. And what I propose to the other interns is like, you know, when we have this downtime, instead of just sitting there and like surfing the internet, let's like make something that you know, maybe Digitas doesn't really know of, per se, but let's... So what I propose to them is that we create, like, a, a series of little intern uh, videos, these, like, funny little one-minute clips about, you know, life of an intern in Digitas, and uh, it's really just, like, blown up to this big thing now where we're making, like, a whole little campaign just within the office, and every week we're going to be releasing these, like, short little one-minute uh, funny videos um, to really just keep the office entertained, and I think that it's something that the full-time employees... Um, we really like and, and appreciate that we take the initiative to just create something without necessarily being asked to. Um, so for myself, being a writer, uh, obviously you need to be able to write well and um, understand you know, proper grammar and everything. Um, the programs that I use personally aren't very complicated, like Microsoft Word. I think everyone pretty much knows how to use that by now. Um, but it doesn't doesn't hurt to have familiarity with like the design programs, like Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, InDesign, because you know you're going to be working really closely with uh, different members of the creative teams, including art directors. So the more familiarity you have with those programs, and also like web-based programs, it it really helps uh, make your job easier communicating with other people. most important thing I've learned would have to be uh, working within a team. I think when you're in school, you know, you focus a lot on yourself and your own personal, like, learning and goals. But once you get in the real world, it's really what I've learned very quickly. It's all about working within a team and, um, you know, bringing whatever you can to the table, but also working with others, you know, to achieve a, a common goal. That's really the, the focus. Um, that I'm learning now in the real world. Um, yeah, I mean, just keep applying everywhere, and even if you know you don't hear back from someone, don't get discouraged. Just you know, just stay persistent, and uh, you know, follow up with people, and really, you know, network and get yourself out there, um, and just work hard. And if you do all those things, the, the opportunities will definitely you know be there. It wasn't very good at all. Uh, my first internship, I was a sophomore in college, and I really didn't know where exactly I wanted to be within an ad agency, so um, in terms of like a creative portfolio, it, it definitely was not very good, but I think uh, the more you, you talk to people, uh, you know, in the real uh, industry, and, you know, they can kind of see your potential a little bit, and they can tell, like, you know, if you have big ideas, um, but it, my portfolio definitely was was not good at all, um, and that's something that you know to this day I continue to work on really hard and uh, keep improving because that's something that you're going to have with you your entire career. And you know if you want to be a creative, that's really what defines you, and that's really like what you know people look for is your your portfolio and the caliber of work that you do. So um, it's always an ongoing process trying to improve it and make it better, um, and it's something you should definitely just keep working on every day. Yeah, um, I would say like the number one tool that I use for networking is LinkedIn. Like I, 
like want to just really stress that that it's such a great tool to to meet people, um, even if like you don't necessarily know them. It, you know, sometimes you'll see them on LinkedIn. Just like, you know, send them a message or something. Just say, hey, I, you know, I'm a student. I'm looking to, you know, break into the job market. Um, do you have any advice? And it's really a great way to, to to meet new people and talk and and you know give them a call. Uh, try to meet you know with people face to face and. Networking really, you know, will help you. Um, the more people you know, uh, you know, uh, the more likely you are to to land your your dream job.